welcome back to subsistence okay guys the alpha 46 update has dropped and it has got a lot of great stuff in it so we're going to be exploring all of that stuff well hopefully as much of it as we can uh, be, but before we get into it I wanted to show you real quickly I've been busy I've spent several days gathering stuff and just working on getting things uh, ready so that we can start working on some of the stuff that the update is going to offer us. Uh, one thing I did was I added a second generator and uh, God, I can't even remember what all I did. Uh, oh, I added more power storage, more mass storage. Um, anyway, so let's first of all uh, just look at how's our, how's our power and mass right now. Okay, we need a lot of power and mass to do what we plan on doing today. So um, we're going to let that run and we're going to switch real quickly over and look at what the update has to offer us. So uh, if I can press the right buttons, there we go. Okay, so here's the update details for Alpha 46. Uh, the first big change and it's something that we all knew was coming is the moose. The moose has been added and I'm not going to read all this stuff to you. Uh, as we go here but suffice to say the moose is passive unless you anger it so you start shooting it and it might try and run away and then eventually it's going to turn on you it's going to try and attack you and they are super powerful they've got lots of hit points they are pretty much an instant kill if they hit you they gorge you with their horns and uh it's it's a done deal so you got to be careful with these guys but they drop sinew and uh, antlers so that it's a great new way to get both sinew and antlers and they also um, I think I heard somebody out in our pond did I hear somebody down in the pond I did where are they okay I yeah let's see here in there I think I see a guy right there oh and he's dead haha <laughs> that's good <laughs> okay so yeah there'll be moose we're gonna go after moose um, I'll read more of that stuff as we go here but uh, another cool thing that's been added uh, to our base here uh, getting back to just some of the things that I added was I've got a light switch up top you may have seen it there as we were going by and it it operates floodlights that are right up there but um you can't really see them and they're useless during the daytime um i've got a light also that i added in here we've got animals i need to take care of but they're okay for now uh let's go over and get that stuff from this guy ha ah, can't believe i got a headshot on that guy i can barely see him but it's good because we need his stuff whatever stuff he's got and it includes weapon parts and I got back the the ammo that I just used on him so great okay um, other thing oh look let's get this uh, we're gonna need potassium we're gonna need lots of potassium uh, another cool thing about the update is oh I need to eat some food we're yeah I'm starving here um, Oh, I need to remap some buttons too. That's one thing that happens when you uh, when you get a major update like this. It remaps your hotkeys, and I've got some of mine uh, remapped from the default, and they get all set back to default. So I need to be cognizant of that. But look, okay, um, let's get some food, and yeah, we need we need to eat one of these meals. That is good stuff. All right, so we're gonna get back to this update here in just a moment, guys. Uh, let's uh, harvest this for the oil, and then we'll drop off some, some stuff in here like so. Oh, yeah, see, that's been changed. I need to switch that. Um, all right. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I was talking about my, my hotkey mapping has been changed, so we go. we're going to just deal with it for... T come on. There we go. We'll deal with it for a little while. Uh, all right, so back to uh, the update. Um, uh, come on there we go right the moose yeah so we're gonna go after the moose so in addition to the sinews and antlers it drops it always drops a liver it can also drop uh, steak and cloth and fat and 
a new uh, item for cooking is ribs. You can get a rack of ribs out of them, and so there'll be a, a new um, thing for us to cook. Now, my fridge is pretty much full, so <laughs> we're not going to worry about that like too, too much, but uh, I am anx anxious to make one. Okay, next thing, a recurve bow, a new high chair bow that can be crafted at the workbench. It does uh, do more damage, as you'd expect, and... Um, it has a less of an arrow drop on it, quicker handling, slightly better zoom while aiming, and the arrows have a greater chance of breaking. That's the downside to it, but I don't think that's much of a downside, frankly. Um, I'm anxious to, to do one of those bows, and, and we will. Okay, um, and it, it can be upgraded at the workbench. So although it says here that it's unlike the standard bow, which can't be upgraded, which we know it can be if you use a cheating method, uh, I think they've removed that uh, cheating method, so you wouldn't be able to do it now anyway, but you can with the recurve bow. Anyway, we're going to get one of that. Additionally, flashlight attachments. This is super good news. Uh, we're going to be able to make a flashlight, and you can get batteries. You can make batteries uh, because the battery life lasts 12 minutes of real-time 12 minutes so that's uh, approximately a couple nights worth of flashlight use uh, but then you'll have to replace the battery so um, we will make additional batteries and those take those take uh, zinc and potassium and the adhesive so again having moose and you know in our last video we got lots of deer and so I have antlers and I've made up a bunch of uh, that adhesive so that's good stuff so we're gonna be doing all that stuff um, and uh, we there's storage slots on our weapons I'll show you that in a little bit and uh, let's see uh, oh oh another interesting thing is when you when you do um, like animal butchering it makes you all grimy and grunchy and stuff so you have to get washed you have to wash yourself to stay clean otherwise you can get an infection and then you have to use antidotes for that another great new addition is the animal butchering no longer requires you to crouch so that is really cool additionally you know I've we had a problem in a previous video you guys if you've watched this series you know we encountered I, I shot a deer and it went into the water and it were all squirrely and we couldn't harvest it that was a common problem now that is no longer a problem that's been solved so that even if something gets killed in the water it does take up a stationary position eventually it I don't know if it floats or just sticks to the bottom or whatever happens it will allow you to get to it and harvest it even if it's in the water so that is great another thing is now the players can sit on uh, chairs and couches so although I don't have a chair or a couch we will work on getting one uh, that's not a high priority for me right now I'd rather get the bow and the flashlight attachment and the batteries and all that stuff um, first but uh, we will work on that because I want to be able to sit down uh, so we're gonna do that and then um, there's shift click capabilities also there is um, this is a very very cool thing when your generators or fabric uh, or the mass okay I think it happened to us um, what what all right stop doing that um, here let's switch back real quick and I'll just tell you look our generators turned off why because our power hit maximum and so your generators automatically turn off. They don't just continue to run. So I was just about to read that to you when it happened for us. So you can see in action the fact that those things turn off automatically. So we're going to run uh, this this thingy here, uh, and which will drain our power down. And that's why I have to have now these two generators. So um, yeah, we're going to generate up some mass and we will compensate the mass um, or the, the power drain by running both of our generators again but it's cool that once they cap once they hit the maximum they automatically turn off so they don't just drain everything down you know either drain the fuel out of the generators when your your power has already reached its maximum or uh, drain your power down to nothing if your mass hits maximum while this thing's running and I've had that happen to me many many times and caused my fridge to turn off and then subsequently uh, you know everything goes bad uh, so we don't like that and and wow there's just so much good to this thing so let's get back to this here 
So yeah, we talked about the, the butchering thing and the animal stuff and the couches and this, you know, the powering off stuff. Um, glass doors can now be crafted. So that's cool. Um, God, and then there's a bunch of other, there's la additional language supports and an increased spawn rate of lock crates. So I look forward to that and a huge number of bug fixes. And so that is that. Let's switch back and get to playing. Okay, so what do we want to do? I want to make a freaking flashlight attachment for my gun. So how do we do that? Look, here's the battery that you can make, which is cool. Here's the recurve bow, which we want to make. Wow, that takes 1,700 power. Good God. All right, that's virtually all the power we've got right now. Um, hmm. All right, so the question is, do I want a flashlight or the, the bow first? I really want to see a flashlight attachment. That takes less. That takes less, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll need a couple ingots and then some electrical components and uh, like five weapon. Oh crap, I don't need to do that. And five weapon parts. All right, so yeah, I'm just, I'm super excited about this whole thing. There's five weapon parts and two of these. Oh, come on, two of those. And yeah, the remapping of my keys is gonna drive me crazy here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and deal. I don't even remember how many of those I need, but it's fine. So we're gonna get this flashlight attachment right now. We're gonna craft that baby up. And when this is ready, it should come with a battery. Like the first one you make will come with a battery. And then I'll show you how you put it on something. So I think I'm gonna put the first one on, on my shotgun maybe. I don't, I don't know. I want to make another one, but we don't have enough power and mass for that right now. Um, but we'll def I definitely want to have flashlight. Yeah, we'll need more mass. Um, definitely want more of those things to put on our other stuff. Um, I'm thinking, though, there's got to be stuff. Look at how much of this I've got. I've got so much uh, ash right now. That's really good. Yeah, let's feed this fire while I'm thinking about it. And I've got to remap sorry guys here I my controls I got a remap um, inventory uh, w where is it uh, controls uh, sprint And crouch there. That's what I wanted. Okay, we'll see if that fixes my deal here. Yes, good. So yeah, and my my keys. I don't like them on the default, but all right. So we've got a flashlight attachment. Let me show you here then. So we want to do. Like, um, we're just going to put it on here for, I don't, I guess I don't need to do that. You just right click, okay, let's pull it out of there so we can see. If you, okay. I don't know if you, okay. Can you see? Like, I, how do you do it? Is it? Is it shift click? That puts it back on the toolbar. Oh, there you go. Yeah, left click pulls it up. And I don't know if you can tell on the screen, but there are two little boxes here that doesn't show very, very clearly, but they, there's little weapon slots. So boom, we put that on there. So now it's, you see the flashlight attachment. It has a little bit of a battery symbol on it right there. So if we put this back on our hot bar here, um, like it doesn't show on the hot bar that it's got the flashlight thing, but let's see here. Okay, if I come down here, I've remapped this to my F key. So, can I... Here. Oh, that's the wrong key. Let's try and find the F key. I play in the dark, guys. There we go. There's the flashlight. See? Cool, huh? 
All right, so we got a flashlight attachment on on this one. I want to make another one of those, and so we can put them on all of our weapons. Uh, and we want to do the recurve bow and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's going to be a while. We, this is the problem now with trying to showcase all the stuff in this mod. I just don't have the kind of power and mass, but... Uh, I probably should have played a little bit longer, but I was just so anxious, honestly, to record this video. I, I've spent so many days in preparation for this, doing all this other stuff, and largely, guys, it was me freaking waiting for enough power and mass all the time. Because everything I made, the floodlights, see, and it, oh, here's my light switch right there. The floodlights... Um, I, I've got two of them out there and the switch and the additional storage uh, for power and mass and the extra generator. All that stuff took um, power and mass. And so I had a lot of wait time. Uh, but let's see. Hmm. Oh, oh, here's something cool. Check this out. I don't know if this patch is going to change this. But, okay, I want to show you something interesting. So, you know that this thing right here will grind up stuff um, let's split one one piece of wood off so one piece of wood gives us one mass for two power okay if I and now if you if you do this if you if uh, if you uh, good God if you make sticks out of the log it will make two sticks per one log right so, look at this. I'm going to split one of these and split another one of those. So, two sticks equals one log. And as we showed you, one log is one mass for the cost of two power. Two sticks, however, are 1.2 mass for uh, the cost of 2.4 power. So, obviously, you know, it's always two times the the power for but the point is we can get more if you if you go out and harvest a bunch of logs in order to get sticks um, what you end up with or uh, to, to, okay to get something cut I can't even think straight because of I'm so excited I want to show you all this stuff so here's what I want to show you watch a hundred equals a hundred mass right but 200 sticks, which is equivalent to 100 logs, equals 120 mass we can get out of that. So that's why I made 200 sticks. So now we just dumped our power down, but that's cool. We can generate the power faster than we can generate the mass. So uh, that's why we did that. And I'm not going to make 200 more sticks right now. We're going to put these logs back in here, and then we'll just grind this stuff up too. Uh, but that's that's one thing you can do now that might get changed in a future update or whatever but for now if you want to increase the amount of uh, grinding power you can get out of something uh, that converting logs into sticks which is easy enough you come out you you harvest a few trees and you start making sticks right away uh, you know and just kill them up they don't take very long at all and so yeah then that's that's one cool thing but that has nothing to do with the update that's just something i discovered as i was trying to get mass over the course of the last couple of days so what i want to do though is look for a moose and and um uh, uh a lock crate because if in fact there are more lock crates around i want to find them i want to find them and then get them and there's more chickens and, yeah, I want to get that bow, too. Okay, that chicken's running away. All right. Now, another thing, I, this hasn't been changed, um, and I really wish it would be. Um, I would I would gladly trade the don't, you don't need to crouch to harvest animals for a don't have to crouch to get ore. I, th I would like that a lot more uh, about the crouching with the ore, but um, whatever, I'm happy enough that, that that was changed with the, the dealy um, for the harvesting animals, uh, but uh, we want to find a freaking moose somewhere or a lock crate. Moose or lock crate. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know that. I mean, there might well be stuff in, in this immediate vicinity here. I have no idea. Now, I didn't see anything in the various different notes, um, which there are. There's been a lot of bug fixes and stuff. Um, so I don't know what impact it may have had on other animal spawns or on other crate spawns or anything like that. There, there may or may not have been any effect to those things, but we're just going to have to play it by ear and see what we come up with. You know, what will we encounter as we go today? But, uh, yeah, I just, I'm really, really happy about a f uh, several of these changes that are, that are pretty major. Uh, specifically this idea that, you know, you can run these things without uh, tanking your power and things like that. Um, so this is, yeah, we're at 295. Our power is still dropping a little bit. Even the two generators can't keep up with that drain. So we're going to use up more of this biofuel. I've used up pretty much all my freaking biofuel that I had uh, in preparation for today's uh, adventures. But I think, I think what I'll do is go ahead and turn this off now that we're over 300 on the mass. I'll, I'm happy enough with that. Now we can get our, our power back up and then make that bow. I'll work on uh, the flashlight stuff uh, later for for the other weapons. So uh, let's go out while we're while we're waiting on the power because we need 1,700 power now. So, uh, but it shouldn't take all that long with the two generators running. So we're just going to gather some stuff and we're going to see if we can maybe find a moose. I'm not going to go too too far away. Uh, I will want to feed my animals. Oh, I see a crate over here. Yeah, there might be, like I watched a video, a Game Edged had um, a video, and thank you uh, commenters for mentioning that Game Edged was streaming. Um, he got uh, he got access to the update um, like a day or so ago. I forget when he streamed. Um, I didn't watch it live. I, I watched it briefly after, a few hours after after he did it live, but uh, suffice to say, he had early access to the update, and um, he showed off a bunch of the stuff in it, and they had found, he, he and several other um, YouTube subsistence players, um, Onokoho, and uh, I think Emma Harkum, and I forget who all was on the stream with him, but several of these wonderful um, subsistence play okay there's a wait a minute wait a minute is that the same oh that's the same base okay I I, you know, I was tripping out there I kind of forgot where I was um, but yeah there's the the base we're not gonna do a base right today I've got other priorities guys we're gonna see about finding a lock crate maybe I mean you know, the the uh, change to uh, the lock crates may not become apparent right away, uh, or really at all. I mean, it all depends on, you know, where they spawn and if you happen to go to that area, you know. So, pretty much like any time you're looking for a lock crate, you just got to, you know, cover a lot of territory, you know. Try and cover as much territory as you can. But I do want to see if we can't find a moose while we're running around like crazy out here, too. God, it's the day has gone by so fast. I don't want it to go by so fast because there's still so much I want to I wanna do and, and find today. But, you know, I don't think I'm going to head back. I think I'm just going to stay out. Okay, I heard a wolf. 
He's a grumpy wolf, too. There's a grumpy wolf over there as well. No, we're gonna... Yo, I was saying, yeah, the, the streamer uh, thing. Um, they saw the wolves out near the lake area. Or wolves. I say wolves. It's not wolves. Uh, it's freaking moose. They saw the meeses. Mo mooses? I, I don't know. What's the plural of moose? Moose? M mice? I don't know. They're... They saw him out here. This is that's the whole point of me. Is oh, okay, that's a bear over there. So I do want to kill some kind of animal so I can show you that we don't have to crouch down, but god there's a lot of wolves around it seems. Is that a wolf coming at me? It is coming. Phew. Alright. Alright, we'll do it. Okay, now, cool thing is, you just walk over to it, you look at it, pull out your thingy, and, it, like, you don't have to find the spot or anything. It's just, it does it. It's so much more convenient. You know, you're not crouched down. You don't have to take the time to do the crouch and then hunt around for the specific spot. Oh, see, now look, we get a message. Wash your hands to prevent infections. So, yeah, we get all gross and we got the gore all over us and stuff from harvesting those animals. So, that's that's another thing, you know. Granted, we didn't have to crouch, but on the other side, we now we got to wash our hands. So, and it makes sense, though. I mean, you know, you don't want to have all bloody guts and stuff all up in your fingernails and things. It's It's gross. Oh! God, is that a moose over there? That sure looks like a freaking moose to me. I don't know if you can see it, but yes, yes, yes. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Now, oh, see, that's a wolf over there. Now, the moose got spooked, and it ran off. Okay, but we're going to shoot it. Where did it go? Okay, it's up there on the hill. All right, so we're going to try and get a headshot on it if we can. We did. Okay, now, it's angry, but it's still, it's afraid. All right, it's not, it's not happy with us for shooting it, and you can hardly blame it for that, but uh, it's not, it's not, like, aggressive towards us yet, but now it is. Oh, now it is. Oh, God, it's, yeah, and it's, oh, God. <laughs> it did not like that. Oh, crap. Okay, is it still chasing? I don't hear it behind me right now. Okay, there it is. All right, we did good damage to it, though. And it's dead! We killed our first moose! Oh, God, where's the wolf? Damn freaking wolves. with that wolf. You know, let's go get the moose. I don't want to lose the moose carcass. And let's see what we get, guys. See what we get. Look at this. We got the rack of ribs, two, three sinew, two antlers, and a bunch of other goodies. I love it. And man, we're losing our daylight already. But, cool thing is, uh, we have got... Here, let's get this. That wolf's probably gonna come over here. Oh, it didn't. Good. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta head back because we're gonna run out of daylight, but I have got a freaking flashlight. So even if it gets dark, we got a flashlight. So I'm not... I'm not worried about that. Ha ha ha. Well, all in all, I mean, God, it feels like we just started this video. To me, it does, at least. Like, we just barely got started, and the day's already gone. Uh, maybe I just... I
took too long getting through the um, the info on the patch, but that's what this is about, you know, it's focusing on this patch update. So we kind of had to talk about it, didn't we? Yes, we did. What, what was that? It's a crate. Let's get this crate. Now, I don't want to necessarily use up my battery power, but... Ah, look at this. Look at that. That is great. We can clearly see, and you know, we I don't need the flashlight to see that there's a freaking hunter base over there, but uh, we, we're not running over there right now. But this sure beats the heck out of that blue light, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. So you can actually see where you're going. Now, this area I know really well, so I, I'm not real that concerned that I'll get lost trying to make it back to the base without a light. So, But I just want to show you how cool it is at night with the flashlight. Isn't it cool? It is cool. So, but we can turn it off just to conserve the battery. And, well, okay, there's a wolf on our butt. It's fine, though. We can outrun him. And I've got little platforms here that scares away the wolves. So, now I don't know if that's been changed either. So, I'm not going to count on them too much right now until I know for sure. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Look, we got good stuff. And, 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 we can cook that rack of, oh, I left something in here to, to go bad. Um, Ooh, I don't know what it was, but we'll just add it in here and there. We'll do that. Uh, but yeah, now we can do, I can cook this, this rack of ribs. Um, uh, it's, yeah, that gives us 25 protein and little fruits and vegetables and hunger and stuff. Um, but I want to see what the recipe is for whatever that is. Uh, so I'm assuming it's in baking. Yeah, roast ribs and vegetables. So I'd need two of each vegetable type and 200 power. Let's do that. Let's just do that before we call it a night here, guys, because um, it's another cool new thing we can do in here. So we're going to uh, craft. Yeah. So we're going to cook one of these guys up, and we will have that to eat uh, tomorrow, I guess. Oh, and I don't have room for any steaks. We can put this, that in there. But I think we're going to have to cook some steak and eggs, too, because, yeah, let's... don't have a choice. I can't fit them in the fridge. Uh, and we probably need to feed our animals anyway. So, But, yeah, I, we'll, we'll do that, and I'll show you the rack of ribs next time around. Um, but for now, thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. I'm going to grab a couple steak and eggs and run them down for the animals. Uh, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share, and favorite. And we will talk with all of you again very, very... You know what? I'm... Okay, look. Look, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. I'm going to feed our animals a little bit. And... Oh, this fire went out. Crap. It's fine, though. We'll all fix that. Um, I wanted to show you one last thing. One last thing. We're going to run up top real quick here. So I can show you. The lights. So if I turn on my lights. See? See how well it lights things up down there? Now, somebody's out down there fishing, but they're not, like, on this side of the pond, so I don't know where they are. But it gives a good, good lighting, doesn't it? I like it. Anyway, thanks for joining, guys, and we'll talk with all of you again very, very soon.